Hello and welcome to today's explained video where we'll be covering the late, the early to mid Cretaceous period and then we'll have a separate video de dedicated to the late Cretaceous period. Today we'll be covering the early Cretaceous period to the mid Cretaceous period. The early Cretaceous period it saw a rise of many new dinosaurs. The Cretaceous period itself is so diverse in dinosaur life with different groups of sauropods and making their appearances as well. Some of the most notable sauropod groups during the Cretaceous period would be the titanosaurs and many titanosaur groups along with other different sauropod groups that stretched from um, the Gulf of Mexico into South America and Africa are some of the most notable sauropods. The Cretaceous period itself saw the rise of many new theropods and we'll be covering those. The Cretaceous period itself was vast with all different types of new life including in flowering plants and many new species of plants. Now on to the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs themselves were, of course, making changes and, of course, new species of top predators came and disappeared. The end of the Jurassic saw the extinction of the Allosaurids and the beginning of a new group of, of predators. The new group of predators would be a, one of the most notable during the early to mid Cretaceous period would be the Acrocanthosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus would be one of the most top predators during this time. It eventually would die out and be later replaced with different Tyrannosaurids towards the late Cretaceous period. Acrocanthosaurus itself was a predator itself with sharp claws, teeth designed for slicing and cutting flesh and not designed for crushing bone unlike Tyrannosaurus rex. Acrocanthosaurus, is, Acrocanthosaurus acrocensis itself was a very agile predator and probably could run at pretty fast speeds to catch its prey. Acrocanthosaurus hunted, Acrocanthosaurus itself hunted a variety of prey including hadrosaurids, smaller sauropods, and of course, maybe a couple of new dinosaurs, including the ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs at this point of time were already maybe becoming the new plant eaters of the Cretaceous period. Ankylosaurs themselves were changing and, and growing so many new defense mechanisms. One of these new defense mechanisms would be later the club tail at the end of its tail. And Kylosaurs themselves during the early Cretaceous period would be Gastonia being one of these Ankylosaurs. Also many other smaller predators, but of course some of these predators being Deinonychus, meaning terrible claw. Deinonychus would be a formidable predator, but it would not be the top predator. It would roam during this time all the way up until it would disappear itself. Its extinction is not well known. It could have died out due to you know, changing climate or many other causes, maybe disease, who knows. Many of the top predators of the early Cretaceous period would be outcompeted by a new group of top predators, being the Tyrannosaurids, with all different groups of Tyrannosaurus species is rising up. These Tyrannosaurus species would not be like Tyrannosaurus rex, instead would be more streamlined and agile all into hunting prey, and eventually they would rise up and take their place 
at the top of their food chain towards the late Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period itself was so diverse and so beautiful during this time period, and all the many different dinosaur species would change and evolve and become most incredible at adapting and diversifying towards the middle of the Cretaceous period. And that was what, what was really the Cretaceous period all about. The diversity of life, the changing of different in, in animal life forms, including dinosaurs, and of course, many other life forms, of course, during this time were small mammals, reptiles, and all different forms of life forms, including birds, like one of these feathered dinosaurs, for example, would be Microraptor. Microraptor would, of course, be one of the most feathered dinosaurs, too. The diversity of life and, of course, the diversity itself would be the most significant part of the Cretaceous period, and Wiley would be what the Cretaceous period would be known for. The Cretaceous period period is broken up into different time periods as you can see on screen and of course that was the early Cretaceous period. Until next time, signing off.